I think it was Patty. Ooh. <laughs> on who? On Paul Pierce's oh. part. And what part? I love what, Paul. This is I, my brother. Part. Because to me, there are going to be all type of announcements that happen in the 48 right. minutes during that game. Okay. All types. Okay. Including celebrating Isaiah Thomas could be one of them. What do, does not take away from your situation, like Kobe's, that happened during the game, because they're doing yours um, post-game. Jalen calling Paul Petty to his face. Max, you agree with him? Yup, and I would rather be petty and honest than show false humility, than be humble and dishonest. So I respect Paul Pierce for what he's doing. I don't want to see a fake show of humility. Oh, shucks, it's okay. But I agree with Jalen. He, he is being, you know, petty. And the shame of it for me, Stephen A., is Paul Pierce should have never been put in that position. He is an all-time great player, not one of the best five who ever played the position, not a top 10 all-time or top 20 all-time, but certainly one of the 100 greatest players who ever lived. He was a selfless superstar who put ego aside to play in a big three. Uh, to win a championship, the only championship Boston has post Larry Bird, right? He has done all those things, and the team should have honored him, retired his number on his own day, not involved anything else. So that's one. And two, once they didn't, like, why didn't they call him privately and find out if it was okay with him? That's one. And two, barring that, why didn't someone around Paul Pierce step up and do this for him? Why is he forced to do this by himself? So is it petty? Yes. But he should have never been put in that position in the first place, and I'm glad he's being honest. I'm not going to dispute whether it's petty or not. I'm going to address Jalen Rose addressing Paul Pierce the way that he did. I love what I saw between them because I know how tight they are, and they brothers, they got love for each other. I remember one time on first take years ago, everybody was sitting there going crazy because Jalen Rose and I were going off on each other, you know, for a while. Jalen Rose been my brother for years. We real tight. The brothers good people. Here's the deal. I think that he was wrong to say that to Paul Pierce. And I tell Jalen Rose to his face, as you both know, here's why. Mm -hmm. Paul Pierce is a member of the Boston Celtics, a champion who's paid, played almost 1,100 games, logged over 40,000 minutes, and did so under immense pressure of the Celtic mystique and a tradition that demanded and taxed so much from their collective basketball souls. Why should he have to share that evening with somebody who was there for two years and 21 games? Two years and 21 games. You went to one Eastern Conference Finals, which, by the way, you got injured in. So, you know, before that, because you, you couldn't play but one or two games in that Eastern Conference Series. Other than that, you were in the first round the previous two years. And, oh, by the way, they wanted to honor you January 3rd. And you turned it down because you couldn't play and your family wasn't going to be in attendance for a video tribute? Come on now. All I'm saying is this, Max. I'm not trying to sit up there, and I hate, I actually hate touching on the subject because I like Isaiah Thomas. I want him to get paid. I think he's been underappreciated. My favorite throughout, player. Through, through, throughout his career, he's been underappreciated. But the bottom line is there should be nothing going on that day other than honoring Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce had three video tributes. This is his jersey being elevated to the rafters, man. This is a big deal. This is not some video tribute. This is Paul Pierce's jersey being retired and elevated to the rafters forever. You can't, nothing should interfere right. with that, especially a player that produced for you for two years and 21 games. And the Celtics should have called Paul Pierce if they wanted to do it, find out how he felt about it behind closed doors, say this is what we want to do, et cetera. Here's, a, so, so, he should have never been put in that position, Paul Pierce, Hall of Famer, all that stuff. I agree with that. Yep. But I got to say one thing, and this will sound unkind. Okay. Sometimes the universe has a way of telling you where you fit in, and maybe it comes into conflict with your own ego. So, for example, Paul, this would never happen to Kobe Bryant. Okay. And this would never happen to Larry Bird. Fair enough. And That's a good point, Paul Max. Pierce is a great, great player. But he wasn't Kobe Bryant, That's he right. wasn't Larry Bird. That's uh, and no argument He there. kind of wants to be treated that way, and while... By Paul, Boston. Yep, and Paul, you deserve it. You deserve, you deserve better treatment than this from Boston. But it's the universe's way of saying, you were great, you're going to the Hall of Fame and everything. We don't respect you the way we right. respect uh, uh, Bird and Kobe or someone like that. Furthermore, you saw Rondo get on Ooh. Isaiah about, the, like... Isaiah. People love Isaiah, man. It just happens. They well, embraced Isaiah in a way because yes, the kind of guy I, he Max, is. But Boston listen, listen, loves hold on, hold on. Paul. Listen, they love Paul, but he's, Max is right about Isaiah. But the flip side is, is that Isaiah knew that 
and had no business turning down a video tribute when it was originally scheduled for you. You don't, just, you don't sit there and, and, and police and curtail the emotions that a fan base wants to show you. If they're ready to show it to you when they first see you January 3rd, you don't tell them, well, hold off another month. Yeah. And while you're there, so now, if you didn't show up, that would be different. And the reason why I'm going to get on Jalen is because of this. I'm one of those people who believes Jalen Rose, Jawan Howard, Ray Jackson, Jimmy King, Chris Webber, I think they should go back to Michigan. I, I, it wouldn't bother me if they erected statues for those brothers yeah. on the campus of Michigan. They, if they decided to do something like that and elevate their jerseys to the rafters, I would, I, I would go ballistic if Michigan decided that, you know what, we're going we gonna to honor somebody else that produced for us for Real a couple quick. of years. Oh, no, Real you quick. won't? 